All right. So what happened was uh, my machine, it didn't have enough space. It had only uh, 200 MB of space left. So I had to clean up my Docker setup, then this Android emulator. It was also having around 15 GB of space. So I reset this and now we are good. Then I restarted my machine and now we should be good. Let's run the app again and we'll see if things got fixed or we need to do something. To fix the issue let's go to my quizzes and it still didn't get fixed let's go to the browser again and we can see this let's inspect and we can see this now all right let's see what is happening now let's pick this table dave 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 we have main px4 this is fine we know then we had this px4 negative right px4 negative which is there then we had this height cal c 100% plus 3 rm it should be width not height yeah this was the issue right all right now let's see what is the problem with the bottom paging so here we have this style our style didn't get applied because we still have vh 100 if we remove this we should be good okay so our mistake actually but let's try to fix both of these we are here here we don't need this vh right let's remove this then container style for container style we need this should be width not height save let's restart and we'll see it on emulator the issue should get fixed now all right let's go to the my quizzes page and boom it is this is the view we need right so this is we are good my quizzes page is fine home page is fine let's try filtering so filtering is working then let's start quiz okay start it preparing the quiz fetching the question this screen is also fine let we have this error let's do this fetching the question submit submitted okay and we are back to my quizzes Cool. So looks like we are good. The, all the functionality is there. We just need to restrict the admin access to this, right? But before that, let's see if with all these changes, if web is also uh, working without any issue. So I've selected WebAssembly project. Let's start it and let's see. Okay, it is loading up. Login screen, login. We are good. Okay, my quizzes. We are good here as well. So, on this, on bigger device, we can maybe have 15 or 20, uh, 20 records. This is up to you. You can design it like that. Then we have this logout. So from home, we'll start a quiz. Okay. And here, everything still looks same, right? We have this quiz. We have this one of two. All these things are fine. The only thing if we want to, we can maybe have not container fluid for this one. We can have container. So on bigger screens, it looks better a bit smaller so we have this dev row oh, we directly have row where is the container fluid we had that container fluid somewhere okay that is not on this screen so i guess we are good with this right now this text it could be a longer text that's why we are having this and we change this exit test and save next to move it to the bottom on mobile devices for maui side for here we didn't do this right so looks like we are good right 
save and next submit we have error fixed it do this quiz submitted okay and boom we are good great cool so everything is still working on web as well now let's see what next we are going to do so next thing we'll do we want to restrict the admin login on the mobile device okay so for this what we can do when we are logging in in this mobile side we have components pages we don't have the pages here the login page we should have in shared components pages auth we have this login.razor here after logging in we redirect to home and inside home we have this slash for admin so for student we move to student slash home but for admin we simply go to slash so how this is working on here again we have admin home screen which is slash admin slash home that means we have this home page where we have this logic for slash where we are checking all these things so we will try to replicate the same thing so we have this home tracer we'll copy the contents of this from admin then we'll go to the mobile project here we'll go to components here also we have this home dot razor okay we have all this auth login and this thing we don't need all these things here because we are not going to come to home page we added this here just for testing if you remember so we'll remove everything and we'll just paste whatever we copied from admin now here we have this authorized view let's try to add this using statement this is first thing authorized then if user role is student we'll redirect to home student home again good but if user role is admin we don't want to redirect here instead we want to show maybe some alert and then we will redirect back to login that is what we want to do here so we can't have our custom logic directly here what we can have we can maybe have one component the way we are having this redirect to home the similar way we can have a component here in this mobile side we'll create a new component let's say uh, admin restrict dot razor something like this the name is up to you you can name it whatever you want let's check if the build type is content okay it is here we will have our code block in here we'll have our protected override async task on initialized async okay let's use this admin restrict component on our home page for admin And inside this admin restrict, what we'll do, we'll have some custom logic. First, let's unload and load this project so that IntelliSense works. Now I, I'm just habitual to this Visual Studio Mass actually. Admin restrict, we can see this now. If you go to this, we are here. All right. So here, what do we want to do? We want to display alert message. And then we want to go back to the login page. So we have two options. Either we can have the same alert what we are having throughout our application that of shared components, these components, and we can use model actually for that thing we can use model or we can show device specific alert as well if we want to 
so here we can do app dot current dot main page dot display alert this is dot and maui so device stuff this is not blazer okay so from here we have this display alert and here we can have title so we have we have access denied something like this then we can have message so admin admins are not allowed for this mobile app something like this then we need to have the button text so we'll say okay and this will return this is awaitable call so we'll say await and then this thing after this what we will do we will redirect user back to the login page and we'll log out the current user because on this screen till now user would be already logged in okay so here what we can do we can have at the rate inject navigation manager we can inject our navigation manager and we can inject our quiz auth state provider these two things so after this alert we'll say auth state provider dot set logout async okay and then from here we'll say navigation manager dot navigate to slash auth slash login and we should be good with this setup okay so save everything and on this page now when this alert would be there it will display the default layout main layout without any content the main basic content the left section top section but we don't need all those things on this page right by because we didn't set any layout here on this page when we say this page the where are we using this on home page right on in mobile pages home page so it will display the default uh, layout but we don't need any layout on this page for that what we'll do we'll simply set layout as empty layout which should come from it is not here where have we defined our empty layout this should be in components project layout and empty layout right so let's use this so here we'll say blazing quiz dot shared dot components dot layout dot empty layout this is the layout we need on this page this home page okay and i guess we should be good now let's save everything and let so this will not have any effect in the web because we directly added these things in mobile project so we'll directly test in mobile only we'll select mobile we'll start it let's see what happens now and now you see it is stuck at initializing state why is it stuck at this do we have anything in empty layout empty layout yes we have this this is stuck in this initializing state okay so for this also we need to have a one layout which does not have anything okay it should not have anything at all so let's do this mm. let's create one more layout maybe we can have that in mobile side only stop everything maybe let's copy this empty layout paste it 
in components layout in mobile app and in here let's rename it let's say mobile empty layout and in this we will not have anything at all just layout component base and at the red body nothing else so this is mobile empty layout we'll go to home page and here we'll set this mobile empty layout which will come from blazing page dot mobile dot layout dot mobile empty layout save it or maybe we can get uh, we might have fixed that with that also so by default in authorized view we are in authorized this page is at the rate authorized attribute authorized if it is not authorized then what would happen let's see let's start the mobile app again there is some errors what is the errors Oh, blazing quiz dot mobile dot components dot layout start okay we are here loading and then we don't have anything that's because right now we are logged in right so if it came to this one it should have something here okay let's do this let's see what we have in inspector so that we'll see what page we are right now on so this is default only that means home but nothing is happening it is not redirecting to anywhere but it should have been redirected let's do this inside authorize view for student will let me tell it p student and in here let me say admin and then in admin restrict component say again one p admin restrict component it didn't come to this thing maybe let's try to restart am i missing something here do let me know in the comment if you figured out what the issue is maybe there is some small piece small thing which i am missing here loading and we can't see anything that means something happened in between let's put breakpoints so i'm putting a breakpoint here on initialized async protected override async task everything looks fine here let's restart let's see if breakpoint comes to this and it did not come to this that means it didn't go to home page the home page here oh, maybe because this is author no if even if this is authorized should go to we don't have not authorized okay let's do this what i'll do i'll simply uninstall this app and i'll start afresh then we'll see if we are missing something or what is happening there then we'll try to fix this thing uninstall we need to stop Visual Studio, uninstall the app, and then let's start it again. So we'll see where it is going from here. Loading and nothing, it is not going anywhere. So oh, maybe let's copy this thing and let's see what we had on this page maybe let's copy this empty layout as well what we had on this home page oh maybe our initializing 
initialization logic was on this page or what stop everything save it let's keep on control z nothing is happening home dot razor let's see home dot razor we had this thing here and here we had this initialization logic okay my bad i replaced everything but i shouldn't have replaced any everything from here right yeah let's undo this and then let's go to home again and now here we'll see what we should add here we'll remove this thing let it be blazing quiz here so on this home page and on initialize we are checking if it is not success we are redirecting to login if that is not the case we are not doing anything so here what we can do the thing which we are doing in that uh, where is that hmm, the component i created admin restrict this thing we can actually have this thing directly in here in else case or we should not have it in else case we need to suggest check so it's better to have that whatever i copied so that this one player this authorized view so that it automatically works without any change let's do this using this if it is not success then we'll navigate to auth login if that is not the case then it will simply use this thing if it is authorized it will automatically go to student home if the current logged in user is student if that is not the case it will go to admin restrict and from there we'll display that alert and then we'll move back so here we don't need this blazing quiz this title instead we'll use mobile empty layout here yeah let's do this so here we'll use layout this mobile empty layout save everything now it should work on admin restrict also we can remove this thing now let's start there is some problem what is the problem this user role is not defined let's add the using from where this user role comes why this intelligence keep on stopping again and again in the admin home side or maybe the actual home on website we'll see this user role comes from go to implementation or what is happening visual studio is not working it is not going it is just showing that and nothing is happening okay user role we must have defined this in shared right shared and user role directly so blazing quiz dot shared let's see if we are not having it on this home which is in mobile mouse side so let's do this let's add this directly here like this and let's start again okay cool we are now on this login page let's try to log in with admin login logging in the breakpoint got hit we'll remove this breakpoint continue disable hot reload and we can see access denied admins are not allowed to this mobile app, allowed to use this mobile app. We'll fix this copy and then okay. 
it went back to login screen let's try with student test at gmail.com one two three four five six login and it went ahead and we can see this now on home page let's change this home text to blazing quiz that name of our application okay and for my quizzes it should be my quizzes which is fine but for home we just need to change it right let's decrease this height as well this this is a lot right when i click here it comes then we should have some thing or maybe we can have some icon here if we have some icon but right now we don't have any icon so let's decrease this height and change this home to blazing quiz on home page home page but just for mobile version okay so first thing we'll go to the nav menu there nav menu dot razor dot css here we have this flyout header which we have height of 200 let's make it 150 after that we'll go to the shared components pages student and student home we'll inject i platform and then on the basis of this platform we'll change this text okay so here what we'll do we'll do this we'll say platform dot is mobile app then we'll say blazing quiz if it is web then we'll have the home save let's start it in mobile and then we'll start it on web web assembly browser then we'll say okay we can see blazing quiz here start the quiz okay we are here this screen is fine submit error okay my quiz screen is here home screen is here log out try login with admin again oh we need to change this message we'll change this then just login and access denied admins are not allowed for this mobile app and we are good let's change that message so we'll go to the admin restrict and here admins are not allowed to use this mobile app something like this save it let's open up web project start okay it is coming loading student my quiz paging home start quiz okay choose the values quiz submitted successfully okay and we are good with everything right log out let's try with admin account login and we can see this thing manage categories manage students manage quizzes view questions edit a quiz then add a quiz all these things are already working we are good i think we are completed the application right for home it should show this home text right now there is only one piece i think that is remaining and that is here we can see the students we can see the categories quizzes but we can't see the students or the the taken quizzes the stats which student has taken which quiz what is the score and all those things so we need to work on this thing and that should be inside this uh, web version only because from mobile side we are good mobile side of things it's done i think we have almost shared almost 100 percent of the things right just home page is different and that platform implementation is different that we need to track that if this is the mobile version or the the web version that's the only difference right cool all right now on this admin side 
we'll have some things, some screens where we'll show the list of students, quiz wise list of students basically. That is the next piece. I think that should be the last part for this application. Let's quickly finish it up. We'll close all.